all right guys thanks for stopping by so today i'm going to show you how to repair a flat tire using a tire plug kit all right so the first thing that you want to do is to identify where on the tire has the hole in it now in regards to tubeless tires a plug kit a plug kit can only be used on a tubeless tire if you have a tire with a tube in it you'll need to get the tube patched now a tubeless tire does not require a tube to work inside it all right so the first thing that you do is to find out where has the hole so in this case we have the most common case is you have a nail in your tire a nail or a screw or something like that so what it does is it punches the tire and then in many cases it leaves a little gap like right here and then here keeps seeping through so this is my dummy tire all right so this tire will show you how it looks when there is a nail on the inside so that's exactly how it looks once you find where the hole is right if if you cannot find a nail or a, or, or a screw or anything what you normally can do is to use water and you spin your tire more than likely your tire is going to be on your bike you spin the tire and you pour water wherever you see bubbles that's where the hole is all right it can rain from a hole about this size to a hole that is way littler than this once you find out where the hole is you can use a pliers if you don't have a pliers you can use a flathead screwdriver and just take your time and lift the nail up but since i have a pliers then we're going to remove it so we got the nail out so the next thing that you do is you use the reamer tool so it looks kind of like this so this tool basically you use it to clean the hole to make it a little bit wider so that you can insert your plug strips you want to force this down into the hole and it's a little bit harder because the tire is not on the bike So you want to go in and out a few times just to clear the hole all right once you get the hole all cleared and everything next up is the plug tool so this is what i call the plug tool and these are the plug strips set the tire down all right so you need only one plug strip for the hole so can come out so. all right so we don't need this we only need one so you insert it in this all right like so it's like treading a needle but easier and you pull it through like so all right so a lot of persons stop the process here but i don't what i use is this rubber solution in jamaica we call it solution or um, tire glue or something like that so what this helps to do or rubber cement or what this helps to do is it helps to secure this in the hole so that it doesn't move all right so what i do is i rub a little on it like so all right so i rub it on it like so yeah just get it all on it so normally if your tire is on the bike and you have air in the tire you want to do this operation very quickly so you would actually leave the reamer tool in the tire so that the air a little bit of air can stay in the tire once you're ready to remove it you will just pull it out quickly and then you push this down so you can go about half to three quarters of the way all right so you push it down until there's a little sticking out like that and then what you do is to pull it out in one quick motion so we got the plug tool out so the only thing remaining is the actual plug so now this is excess so what you want to do you want to cut this off right whether you have a knife on you or scissors or what you can also do is to light it right once you light it get it sticky and just push it down right eventually it this 
gets removed off the bike but you don't want this sticking out all right this is how it looks on the inside all right and that's basically how you would go about plugging a tire. It's a very simple, simple thing to do. And that's how you get it done. Hope you guys learned something. Bless up.